Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. What are their intentions or next actions towards you? Uh, keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Virgo watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, let's jump into the reading for Virgo. Spirit angels guide the messages guidance, please. For Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know regarding the connection spirit? What's going on in this connection at this time? For Virgo. What is going on in their connection at this time? Three of Pentacles, okay. What's going on in this connection spirit between Virgo and their person? What's going on in this connection? Four of Pentacles. So both of your energies are here, Virgo, because this is what's going on between you. Um, I feel like from what I can see with these two energies, the first thing I think of is someone that's not participating. <laughs> that's the message. Someone's not participating. Either someone doesn't want to really open up or come forward. Let's see. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. It's like someone's holding back here. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? The Fool. Let me get one more about the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Nine of Wands. Yeah, there's there's a, a guarded energy here. Maybe because this would require a risk of some sort for them to open up or to not be so guarded. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Two of Cups. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Tower Reverse. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? The lovers reverse. So I think there might might have been something happened. Something must have happened in a connection. Gemini energy with the lovers reverse. And I feel like someone wants to work on it. But that would be a risk in some way here. Tell me about the fool. Why is the fool here? Yeah, ten of swords. So this would be a risk, I feel, because of the way that something ended. Maybe there's not a lot of communication here or a divide, you know, a separation between you and this other person, Virgo. And I think that's keeping someone from like taking this risk. Knight of Pentacles reverse. The Knight of Pentacles reverse for me is they just take really long to get to where they're headed. Eventually they make it there. So there might be um, delays, obstacles here, a delayed offer. Tell me about this tower reverse with the lovers reverse. What happened here? This tower reverse and the lovers reverse. Either there was a separation here or there's currently things aren't so well with this person. Ace of Cups though. So there's still love here with the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups. There's still love here. There's still emotions here in this connection despite what's happened. Despite this divide, the separation. Um, I feel like there was already a tower moment in this connection for the Virgos that I'm talking to today. Keep in mind that not every reading will resonate, Virgo. So just take what resonates for you. But I feel like whatever happened, it's like someone guarded themselves or protected themselves or kept this hidden or kept their feelings buried deep, that kind of energy. Can I get one more? For this four of pentacles can i get one more for this four of ace of pentacles interesting 
So what I'm getting here is that this is someone that wants to make an offer of some sort. Whoever's holding back, whoever's thinking about this risk, there is, it's like there, this is all about an offer. This Knight of Pentacles, Reverse Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, but with the Three of Wands, Reverse Knight of Pentacles, Reverse, there's delays here. Someone is maybe hesitating. Okay, so let's get into your energies here. I'm going to have you on one side, Virgo, and your person on the other. So just flip the energies as they resonate for you. Spirit, tell me more about Virgo and this other person. Tell me more about Virgo and this other person. What do we need to know about Virgo? Tell me about Virgo, Spirit. What do we need to know about Virgo? Unhealthy attachment. Okay, tell me about Virgo's person. Tell me about Virgo's person. Inner voice, true love. Bottom of the deck, burden heart. Yeah, I feel like this person that you are interested in, Virgo, they're not communicating. Or they're keeping to themselves their feelings for you. Um, I feel like they've suppressed this to an extent here. It's like they need to open up or they are keeping a secret in a way. Tell me more about Virgo and this other person. So tell me more. Tell me more about Virgo. Let's start with you, Virgo. Tell me about Virgo. Tell me about Virgo. I love you. We need to talk. Yeah. So you, you have feelings for this person, Virgo. Maybe you have something to say to this person. Maybe you wish that there was already open communication with this person. Tell me about Virgo's person. Tell me about Virgo's person. I don't know what to do. I'm heartbroken. Bottom of the deck, I want to fix this. So I feel like you're kind of mirroring each other. Um, except that this person, I think they're more disappointed or heartbroken about what happened than maybe you are. Or maybe you don't know that they feel this way. Now with unhealthy attachment here, you could be dealing with some sort of difficulty in your life at this time. Um, maybe there was something that happened in your connection um, in the past that it, it didn't end very well. Tell me more. Spirit, tell me more for Virgo and this other person. Give me some insight for Virgo. Let's start with you, Virgo. Tell me about Virgo's energies in this connection. What are Virgo's energies in this connection? Strength, Leo energy. Tell me about Virgo's energies in this connection. Ace of Wands. I feel like you want to begin again. I think if you had it your way, Virgo, this would have already happened. Tell me about strength. Why is strength here? Two of Wands reverse. Maybe you just need courage to pull the trigger. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Queen of Cups reverse. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, it's almost like you want to work again with this person, collaborate with this person. Um, some of you, there was a third party that got in the way here. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Could have been a family member. Could have been traditions, societal pressures. I don't normally get that with the Ten of Pentacles, but I'm getting like maybe it, it doesn't necessarily have to be another partner. Tell me about this Two of Wands reverse. Why is the Two of Wands reverse? Page of Cups. Yeah, I think it's almost like you're trying to maybe like tell yourself, let me just contact him. I should just send them a message. I should just say hello. What's the worst that could happen? Or perhaps you need to apologize to this person. 
Okay, so let's look at your person. Tell me about the person that Virgo is dealing with. What do we need to know about this person that Virgo is or will be dealing with spirit? Tell me about this person's energies towards Virgo or this connection. The world reverse. Tell me about this person's energies towards Virgo or this connection. Page of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, they're delayed in some way, Virgo. And I feel it's because perhaps a cycle has not closed in their life. Let's see. Tell me about the world reverse. Why is the world reverse? King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Why is the world reverse? Ten of Swords. Yeah. Can I get one more for the world reverse? Tower. Wow. Two of Pentacles reverse, the Fool reverse, Four of Cups. Nine of Cups reverse. Whatever this is with the Tower, this I'm heartbroken, I feel I don't know, I feel like there's two messages here. So take it as it resonates. For the first group of Virgos, this person does not want what happened between you to be it. Um, wherever they're at, I feel like in their mind, it, they should just take the risk or perhaps you know, they're talking themselves out of taking this risk and that's why the delays because I have the full reverse. But something with a risk here, I feel it, it, the the risky part is that someone would would want to tell you that they don't want things to be over. I hope that makes sense. For the second group of you, this person um, needs to have a tower that falls in their life. And wherever they're at they're not happy and this tower it's almost like going to clear the way for them it would be a very difficult ending for this person but i feel like it would turn over the world here tell me about the page of pentacles reverse tell me about the page of pentacles ace of swords Tell me about the Page of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Page of Pentacles reverse? So this is clarity. This is no longer being confused, no longer wondering about something. It's almost like your person wants confirmation that you're on the same page. Maybe they're going to want to talk to you before they pull the trigger on their own life, you know? The Emperor shows up, um, Aries energy. This is someone who's a doer. They take action. They're definitely more of the take charge type. They don't just sit back. I feel like this person, they're probably more mature or older. Um, or they just, maybe they're a leader in their life. Because I feel like this is someone who's used to calling the shots. But when it comes to you, Virgo, that that isn't the case. It's almost like this person, you know, in any other scenario, they would be bold enough to just go to you and tell you how it is. And if you didn't want them, then F you. I, I'll move on with my life. No big deal. But in this instance, I feel like if this person were to be rejected by you, it would really hurt them. And so I think that this person is scared. And that's why they need the confirmation before they completely go through with this. And that's why they don't know what to do. Let's see. Let's get some more insight into this person. What else do you need to know, Spirit, about this person that Virgo is dealing with? What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know about this person that Virgo is dealing with? What do we need to know, Spirit? I hope that you can forgive me one day. 
I know I was a distraction from your pain. I feel like this person, that's what they're trying to do right now because they're heartbroken. It's almost like they're trying to distract themselves or perhaps they can't do anything but think about this. I hope that you can forgive me one day. So they probably had a big part to play here, Virgo. What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know about the person that Virgo is dealing with? Gemini, ruled by Mercury. That's the lovers. What else do we need to know about this person? Could be dealing with a Gemini. Mysterious, enigmatic, and mystifying. Um, curious at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person looks into you or is interested in you. In the sense of like, they don't really know what's going on in your life. I don't think they have direct access to you. And so all they can do is watch from a distance. And so there's kind of like a mystery here. What does Virgo truly think? What are they really thinking? Um, you know, what's Virgo actually doing? I want to get one more. Where's my kipper? Can I get one more? Can I get one more for Virgo? Tell me more about Virgo's person. What do we need to know about this person that Virgo is dealing with? What do we need to know about this person? Concern and poverty. <laughs> This person's scared to lose you, I feel. They're worried that um, this won't work out for them. Bottom of the deck, message. They're worried that maybe the message will not be received well, or I don't know, maybe they really have no idea how this would go. And this person, I don't think they're used to that. I think they're used to like not caring or not being worried how you would, how another person would take something, right? Because this person is typically so sure of themselves. What are their true intentions towards Virgo? What is this person's true intentions towards Virgo? Death and the High Priestess reverse. Wow. So opening up, revealing their true feelings. Scorpio energy with death. Interesting. I feel like this person wants to talk to you about some sort of change or ending. Yeah, Ten of Wands reverse. It's like they would they want to talk to you about what would need to happen for you to be together or the changes they need to make in their life for you to be together. I feel like with the Ten of Wands reverse and the High Priestess reverse, I feel like someone literally unburdening themselves, opening up, um, confessing something to you. It's, and I also feel like for a lot of you, this person is just going to talk about what happened between you, how it affected them, how maybe they're still not over it or they wish they could do things over again. Bottom of the deck, I have the four of wands. So I feel like this is what your person hopes for. Harmony, um, balance, stability with you. I'm also picking up that this person, they have a very like, strong facade they don't you know they have a very a poker face this person has a poker face and so maybe they appear mysterious to do, to you um because i'm getting with this gemini card like someone with two faces to an extent you know like i don't know what to do i'm heartbroken i don't think anybody's seen that i think they hide that they hide what they truly feel but their intention is to reveal these feelings otherwise i'll leave it here virgo thank you so much for watching i appreciate all of the likes shares subscribes if you enjoy the reading please consider liking subscribing so you can see more videos from me thank you so much for watching i appreciate all of your support and i'll see you all in another video very soon take care